Okay, again, welcome everyone. Um, if you take a look in chat, I left a little message. If you need any uh, Google Docs from class, email me at the my email address, chanarab at hotmail.com, and I'll gladly send you documents for class. Um, also, uh, you are welcome to um, tell me what you would like to learn, whether it's a topic or a phrase, what have you. Okay. Okay, so for those of you that remember, um, when I say, that means all rise for the Haida Nation Anthem. Yo ho we, yo ho we, yo, yo, hey, hi, yo, ho we, ho we, ho we, hey, hi, yo, ho we, ho we, ho we, we, ho we, we, Yo ho we, yo ho we, yo we, yeah. hey hi, yo ho we, ho we, ho we, yeah. hey hi, yo ho we, ho we, ho 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 we, ho we, yo ho we, yo ho we, yo we. Hey, hi, yo, ho, we, ho, we, ho, we, hey, hi, yo, ho, we, ho, we, ho, 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 we, ho, we, ho, we, ho, we, you may be seated. Okay, real quickly, we are going to go to uh, the class prayer. Again, this is really popular in Haida Kauai, or at least um, mass it. They don't start a class without prayer because it helps uh, ground us and uh, gives us focus. Okay, our class prayer. O sing shanawai, O sanan itlaktas, O salana, hugen sudas, kasat itlanga gudang. Have pity on what we are saying. Aji singai on talang kilagan. We thank you for this day. Ayat atlan itku. We thank you for gathering us here today. Whatever we are about to do, help us. So that we could do it right. That it be as is, uh, that is our Haida Amen. And now we have our class greeting. I at Tilan Telang Skatan, Delan Ansh Kilt Lagan, Jahawa U Had Kilt Telang Skata Sin. Greetings, good people, my friends, my family. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that you guys have come. I'm honored with your presence. Today we are learning our language. I thank you guys. Thanks a lot. Let's learn Heidi.
Okay, now we're done with protocol. We are going to greetings and responses. And we left off at Adi La Shla, meaning have a good sleep. We didn't cover it. We got to that point, and here it is right here. I'm going to highlight it. Okay, um, before we get into that, uh, Sun Chuan on Monday, um, we went, for those who were interested, we went around the room and uh, took turns pronouncing these phrases. So, um, uh, raise your hand or use the reaction button for a raised hand if you're interested in pronunciation. Okay, I see Hunt Like Goo is Summer Skull. Um, Nang Jada Gen Unsit. Adi La Sha. Oh, I'm sorry. Just, uh, you're going to participate, right, when we go around the room? Oh, um. <laughs> okay. But thank you for, no, that's good. That's good. You already uh, pronounced it. So that's good. You had your turn. <laughs> How, uh, okay. So um, it looks like everyone is participating. So who logging? That's good. Um, we like that because um, the repetition of the language um, and us practicing it is what is going to help us remember it. Um, so. Adi la shla. I have the phonetics here. It was the best I could do for phonetics. Adi la shla. Um, shla, the closest thing we have to it in English is S L A W, shla, like in coleslaw. Um, so, so we have the Haida phrase, adi la la. You have to kick from back here uh, in order to do the what we call the loaded K. Uh, block off the airflow and then kick the K. Adi la la. Adi la la. Adi la la. Have a good sleep. Okay, up next, I see Hunt Lai Gu Is. Adi, Adi, La, La. Hong, Gu Lagen. Up next, I see Skull. Hong, Gu Lagen. Up next, we have Summer. Adi la shla. Um, who login? How uh okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay. We have an underlined K. The underlined K is pronounced from back here as well, but it's there's nothing guttural about it. It's soft. Um, you block off the airflow and pronounce a K without kicking or doing anything guttural. Um, kanga, kanga la shla, kanga la shla, kanga la shla, and. You'll see me a lot of times using my finger to tell you if we're using the the throat from back here, where we block off the airflow, 
are if we are pronouncing a K or an X from the middle um, to show you where that letter and that sound is coming from. So we have Kanga, La La, Kanga, La La, Kanga, La La. Uh, have good dreams or have sweet dreams. And as you can see here, I try to do the phonetics. Kanga, La La. Okay, Nanjara Gen Unsit. Kanga la shla. Go ahead, go ahead. Kanga la shla. Ulagen. Shlungo la aoyagen. Great job. Hanslegu is. Das wait nong. Your turn. Kanga la shla. Ong, good login. Uh, Skull, das wait nang. Ong, good login. How, uh, summer. Kanga, la, shla. Ong, good login. How, uh, let's see. Um, Oh, I was wondering what I did here. It took me a moment to realize. Um, I put both of these commands back to back um, because I could see them being used like that. We have Adi Lashla, Kanga Lashla. Have a good sleep, sweet dreams. Adi la la, kanga la la. Uh, Nangjaragan unset. Adi la la, kanga la la. Ang hulagan how a. Ah, hunt like gu is. Adi la la. Kanga, kanga, la, 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 la. Um, um, who log and how, uh, scowl, dot, wait, no. Um, who log and how, uh, summer, dot, wait, no, your turn. Kadi, la, la, kanga, Lashla. Ong, who login? How, uh, okay, yeah, we, I guess we will do this one. This one is simply, um, making it plural. So if you notice the only thing different is a glottal stop and a UU added onto la. So it's kanga la u la. So we have high tone right here, kung, and we have ah, and we have high tone again. Whoops, only meant to do the first three letters, la, and then the rest is low tone. Ufla, Ufla. So, uh, Kanga, La Ufla. Kanga, La Ufla. Kanga, La Ufla. Have sweet dreams, you guys. Uh, Nangaragan Unse. Kanga, La Ufla. Ah, Gulagan. Uh, hunt like goo is. Kanga la ushla. Ah, hulagan. Skal. Kanga 
Pang Hulagen Summer Panga La Ushla Pang Hulagen How uh Okay um Okay so this one is um just a command to go to sleep So it's it's like Kadi La Shla we're just dropping the la so it's just Kadi Shla Kadi Shla Kadi Shla go to sleep uh this one is um even more of a command um the other ones are more pleasant like have a good sleep have sweet dreams this is a definite command to go to sleep adi kla nanjara gan unset kadi shla ulagen how a unslide gru is kadi shla on ulagen how a skau kadi shla on ulagen how a summer kadi shla on ulagen I'm going to get some of these. Um, if you want the document, it could be, I could send it to you and you could practice those. Um, but since we're doing beginning, Haida, I got to be careful that. I don't overload you guys. Okay, we're gonna skip some of those, but we have to do this one. This is an essential, let me see what's in chat. Oh, okay, how, uh, um, I'll write that down, so do, um, send you, the uh, document from class out uh um uh this is a basic one uh one that, that we have to know and we also have to know the responses to this question okay keep in mind the underlying g as a raspy h sound that's being blown from back here So it's um um Sanudan Haydan Sanudan actually there are two ways of pronouncing it and they are both correct. It could be Haydan or it could be Haydan. There's two different ways and they're both correct. Um, someone wrote on this very topic and it had to do with, I think, because we're blowing so much air from the back of the throat that it can change the pronunciation, but they're both correct. So either way you say it is fine, as long as it, one of them's hey done, uh, Wadu, which means or, um, Hedan, Wadu, Hedan. Um, they're both correct. But remember to blow air from the back of the throat. Um, Sunadam, Hedan. Sunadam, Hedan. Sunadam, Hedan. Now, of course, I got to do it the other way as well. Sunadam, Hedan. Sunadam, Hedan. Sunadan Haydan. Both are correct. Nanjaragan Unsit. Sanudan Haydan. Ulagan. How are you? Hantai Guru is. Sanudan Haydan. Ulagan. How are you? Skao. 
Sanudan Kedo. Ah, Ulagan. Out a summer. Sanudan Kedo. Ah, Ulagan. Okay, this reply is by far the most uh, traditional, but there are plenty of other uh, responses as well. Uh, this is the one that is most used. Um, we covered it on Monday, but um, repetition is uh, what we need. So we're going to keep covering this. De lagen. De lagen. De lagen. De lagen. Meaning I'm fine, I'm good. I'm well. Nangjaragin uh, unse. Di lagen. Oh, di lagen. How are Hanslegu is? Di lagen. Oh, how are summer? Lagen. Oh, di lagen. How are skull? Di lagen. Oh. Okay, so um, we have how up for thank you, but I should really share the cultural relevance of that because it's deeper than the English thank you. Whoops. I am thanking you from my spirit. The height of spirit is three inches below the throat. So you could put your hand over where your spirit resides and say, how ah, uh, how ah, uh, meaning I am thanking you from my spirit. So it's much deeper than English translation of thank you. And then as you can see right here, we have how a u, which is plural. Um, yeah. Um, but at potlatches, name givings, and so on. A lot of people still just say how, uh, even though technically how uh, ooh, is the correct way of uh, thinking more than one person. How uh, ooh. So we have how a. Uh, we have three things going on with how a. Uh. First, we have the tone mark right here. Then we have the glottal stop, which means a really slight pause. And then lastly, we have the double A or the long A, which is low tone. So we have how a. Uh, how a. Uh. Uh, the Haida language is really sing-songy because you'll hear our pitch rise and fall, rise and fall. So how, uh, and then how, uh, ooh, or plural. Namjara gen unsit. How, uh. How, uh, antlegu is. How uh ooh. Ah, um, hulagen. Summer. How uh. How uh. Skull. How uh. How uh. How uh. Okay. Um. Next. Ja. Um. I should. Maybe do some phonetics. It sounds like J. 
Um, and then how, and then the long A, ja, how, uh, ja, how, uh, means uh, thanks a lot or thanks very much because ja is the emphasis, emphasis and we're putting the emphasis on thank you. So therefore it translates to thanks a lot. Uh, thanks very much. Ja, how, uh, ja, how, uh, nang jaragin unste. Ja, how, uh, gulagin, hunt like gu is. Ja, how, uh, gulagin, summer. Ja, how, uh, gulagin, how, uh, skull. Oh, login. Okay. Um, if I'm using this phrase here, Jahau in a group of people, I mean it to um, uh, translate to thanks very much, everyone, um, because uh, it's plural, and I'm thanking everyone um, that I'm talking to. So, um, so Jahau covers if you have if you're talking to two people, or are you talking to two hundred people? Um, so, uh, yeah, Jahau. Um, yeah, let me. Uh, type in another translation. Um, or just let me put something in parentheses. Uh, if you're talking to two people, you might um, not want you might not want to translate it to everyone. <laughs> It would just be thanks very much, um, but in the plural context. Ja, how a u. Ja, how a u. Nang jaragin unsit. How wa u. Ja, how wa u. Hong, who login? How a? Hunt like who is? Ja how a u. Um, u login. Summer. Ja how a u. Um, u login. Skull. Ja how a u. Um, u login. Okay, we got to backtrack a little bit. So when we are doing our greetings, there are other greetings besides this uh, question, Sinodan. Hey, Dan, um, how are you doing? And then you answer, and then you say, how, huh? And then you turn the question back to them. And all we do is add an S to Dan, which is you, and it acts in this case as like an N. So, um, uh, so new Dan's Hayden, Sunadans Hayden, Sunadans Hayden, Sunadans Hayden, and how are you doing? And keep in mind, you could say Hayden, Wadu, Hayden. Uh, both are correct. Sunadans Hayden. Um, Nanjaragan Unse. Sunadans Hayden. Ah, who log in? Hunt like who is? Sunu dunks hey dung. Ah, who log in? Summer. Sunu dunks hey dung. Ah, who log in? Um, I like you brought the Haida accent to it, <laughs> so it makes it sound more authentic. How uh, 
as cow. Ah, Hulage. Okay, so when you turn the question back onto the other person, Sunadan Haydan, and how are you doing? Since you said that uh, you were fine, uh, they might say, Decent Lagen, I am fine too. How? Uh, and then it's uh, come full circle, the um, asking each other how they're how they're doing and the responses and the thank yous. So, so let me do a little bit of phonetics. Decent Logan. Um, R S A N sounds a like sounds a lot like sun, S U N in English. Decent Logan. Decent Logan. Okay. Um Nan Jarigan Unse. Decent Logan. Oh, who Logan? Hunt like who is. Decent Logan. Oh, Gulagen. Summer. Isan Lagen. Oh, how, uh, Skull. Isan Lagen. Oh, how, uh. Okay. Um. I like this one. Um. It's um, Doc Laus, Doc Laus, Doc Laus. Notice I'm not pronouncing the W right here. I'm just rounding my lips like so. Doc Laus. That means, are you good? Are, um, Uh, are you in balance? In other words, um, is your spirit in balance uh, with the universe? So um, it's kind of like asking: Are you good? Are you um, are you centered? Um, and then you see a different way of spelling down here uh, with a K. That's because the K and G in this case are interchangeable. You could use either one. The pronunciation is the same. Also, some of the elders um, don't like it spaced. So they will um, put da and uh, together and it would be da. Um, so both of these uh, spellings are correct. It could also be like that, but um, I personally like it like this. Um, it's easier for my brain if I see a K. It's also what the elders would do. If you look in a dictionary, it's, they're going to use GW. I personally prefer KW. Again, it helps me with uh, pronunciation, and it's what our elders use. So, um, Doc Laus. Um, it sounds complicated, but trust me, after you practice rounding your lips, it um, it's easy. Doc Laus. Doc Laus. Nanjarakin Unsit. Doc Laus. Um, Ulagen. Hunt like who is. Doc Laus. Um, Ulagen. Summer. Doc Laus. Um, Ulagen. Skull. 
Ah, good login. Congratulations, everyone. You made that um you made that appear easy. Okay, so next we're doing uh some really simple words, but um they're absolutely necessary. We have Jaong. Um I use Jaong all the time. Um sometimes I use it when you guys request uh, a document from class, and then I'll say Jaong, and then I'll attach the documents. Um because Jaong means sure thing, yes indeed. Yes, I will do it. It means multiple things. Um, covers a lot of territory. Ch'ang, ch'ang. Um, notice the difference between j and ang. You can really hear it going from low tone to high tone. Low tone to high tone. Ch'ang. Ong. Um, and then we have Ong by itself, which means yes, Ong. Um, and then we have no, ke -e, ke -e. you could really hear the glottal stop, ke -e, because there's a slight pause, ke -e. that's our regular no, that's the one I use the most because this other one, got a new, got a new, is an emphatic no. It's um, it's like a polite way of saying, um, no way in heck. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's really quite emphatic. Um. So I only use it when it's necessary. Otherwise, I do not use it. So we have on sure thing, yes, indeed. Yes, I will do it. We have on meaning yes. We have get a meaning a no. And then we have got a new, meaning uh, an emphatic no. Um, but first we'll do Jaong. Nung Jaragan Unsit. Jaong. How uh how play gu is. Jaong. How uh summer. Jaong. How uh scowl. Jaong. How uh the next we have the basic form, just on by itself, meaning yes, on, on. Your tone should definitely go up. On, on. Then jada gen unset. On. How uh how play gu is. On. How uh summer. On. How uh scowl. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> uh, um, ke -e, ke -e. So the first E is, or the first part, the GE part sounds like G, G. And then the E with a tone mark over it sounds like A. Ke -e. Ke -e, ke -e, ke -e, meaning no, just a regular no. Ke -e, uh, unset. Ke -e. How uh hunt like go is. Ke -e. How uh summer. Ke -e. 
as cow. Yeah. Oh, uh, now we have ka anu, ka anu, ka anu, ka anu, meaning a very emphatic no. Nanjaragan unse. Ga anu. Ang. Antlegu is. Ga anu. How oh, a uh, summer. Ga anu. How oh, a uh, skull. Ga anu. Ang. Oh, How a. Uh, We won't go around the room with this one, but I'll I'll say it for you. It's just um um uh amash the guang amash amash the guang don't do that dear like something an adult would say to a little kid. Um okay, this one looks long. But we're going to do it. And we have the phonetics down here. And the syllables are broken up. So we have Dalang. And, and it, you can see we have the corresponding phonetics right here. First part sounds like da. Second part sounds like lung, like one of the lungs in your chest. Uh, second word, wad luan, wad luan. For phonetics, I have wa. And then the second part is lu. I think of the word do with an L in it, and it becomes lu. And the last part, wan, um, I think of it as like, the wan in wonton soup, wan. Um, there is no phonetics for a. I just, um, I just did a different spelling of it. Um, and the d i i is always going to sound like d. Then we get to the verb. Um, this verb has lots of meanings. Uh, to be proud of someone, to admire someone, to look up to someone. It has a lot of meanings. Um, so I just broke it up. Kwa ki dung. And our tone mark is over the first A. Kwa, whoops. Um, kwa, kwa ki dung. Quaggy done. Our emphasis is definitely on this long A with a tone mark. Quaggy done. Quaggy done. So, Dalang, what Luan? A, D, Quaggy done. Dalang, what Luan? A, D, Quaggy done meaning I am proud, I'm so proud of all of you. Oh, um, it actually means I am proud of all of you. So to get it to mean I am so proud of all of you, we have to exaggerate. Kwa, kwa gidan, dalang wadluwan eish di, Quagidan. Um yeah. The language one is the quagidan. I am so proud of all of you. Um if this is too much of a mouthful, you don't have to practice it, but we'll go around the room and see who wants to do it. Nangjaragan unse. Dalang Wadluan ish di quagidam. Ang hulagan. Antlegu is? Dalang Wadluan ish di quagidam. 
Tom Gulagen. Summer. The long wat lu wan e di kwa ki dang. Tom Gulagen. Out a skull. The long wat wan e di kwa ki dang. Tom Gulagen. Out a Okay, we already did the login and how ah. Uh, oh. Earlier we had dot la us. Are you good? And they could answer with on the login. Yes, I'm good. Or however they're going to respond. Um, but they could turn the question back around to you by saying doc doc son laus are you good also are you good too doc son laus doc son laus doc son laus nanjaragan unse Doc sun la us. Ah, gulagen. Hunt like who is. Doc sun la us. Ah, gulagen. How a uh, summer. Doc sun la us. Ah, gulagen. How a uh, a uh, skull. Doc sun la us. Ah. Um, the next question is uh, pretty close to the one we already did. We're going to skip it as it's um, more uh, immediate level. Okay, this one we are going to do. Um, remember earlier when I said there were other responses besides the log and and um, this is a long verb. It looks like I need to break it up. There's some a little bit of phonetics. E la not not too much phonetics because it's mostly all Haida. So. Um, we have D La Askangun. Um, I know it could be imposing to see gung followed by another gung, and it might trip up your brain and what might make you wonder how to pronounce it. But you just simply pronounce one gung and immediately pronounce another gung. So it's gun gun, gun gun, gun gun. So we have D, la, as gun gun. The first part is all high tone. D, la, as gun gun. So however you want to think of it, um, I will sometimes think of this part as high and pretty. D, la, ash. Then the rest of it, gun gun, is low tone. So we have D, la, ash, gun gun. D, la, ash, gun gun. Nanjaragan unse. D, la, ash, gun gun. Um, ulagan. Um, Notice uh, Nanjaragin Unsit's uh, pronunciation. Um, if you get bored of listening to me, you can always listen to Nanjaragin Unsit. Hantlaigu um, is. Di la ah gungang. Um, Ulagin. Summer. 
Hi la ah gang gang. Gang, hi la gang. Scow. Hi la ah gang gang. Okay. Um, hi la gang. How ah? So that's a good part to stop. So I have, I have to write a note. Um, sung swan sung ah. On Monday, we're going to come back to um, this phrase right here that we haven't covered. So I'm going to write this phrase down. Gum kun di la angang. I'm not all that well. Okay, um, we have a holiday coming up tomorrow. And we have ways of expressing, um, for instance, for Happy Halloween, we actually say Happy Ghost Day. Um, Adan is ghost. Adan, Budinai La Singai. Um, but of course, that's not our holiday. Ours is Thanksgiving. Um, I do like this one. Um, I had gotten quite a few uh questions about how we would phrase happy winter solstice in Hod Kill and My, the first way I coined it sounded good until I realized it could be said this way, and this way makes a lot more sense. So, sunk is winter. Sangada is to celebrate or commemorate. Kurinai La is happy, and um, Singai is, is for that particular day. So, uh, sang, sangada gudinai la sangai, that's happy winter solstice. This one, happy indigenous people's day, I haven't. Um, I have to ask other speakers if it is okay to say it that way. I don't see a problem, but they might want it. Uh, phrase differently. Okay, here we are for uh, Thanksgiving and Happy Thanksgiving. So we have Kill La Singai is Thanksgiving. In Mass it would be Kill La uh, Singai. Um, but we're running out of time. So we're only gonna practice this one. Kill la gudinai la singai um is happy Thanksgiving. Kill la gudinai la singai kill la gudinai la singai and then you gotta get it. Kill la gudinai la singai. Ula again. Hunt like goo is. Kill la good eye la sing eye. summer. Kill la good eye la sang eye. Long, who log in? Scowl. Kill la good eye la sun dog. Long, who log in? Okay, we are going to go. We have 60 seconds. We are going to go to the departure song. Um, okay, um, how's dog and song, dee to we, how's dog and song, dee to we, dee to we, that is, um, I'll see you again, my friend, my friend. Keep squad done, we get a song, keep squad done, we get
in Lausanne. Hope all good things come your way. The Monogast train, D2E, D2E. The Monogast train, D2E, D2E. Take good care, my friend, my friend. Degrees, this, D2E, D2E. Degrees, this, D2E, D2E. Return to me, my friend, my friend. Okay, our time is up. I want to thank you all for being here today. I need to write down Ryan for, for docs. Um, everyone to have a good holiday and a good weekend. And um, hope to see you guys on Monday. Take good care, you guys. Okay.